Greetings, adventurers. My name is Leonime. One of my subscribers requested a tutorial on how to put a hovering question mark above the NPC's head. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. It's really easy. Uh, from the menu, go to Graphics, Visual Effects, and I'm going to create a name. It's just going to be a question mark. Go down here where it says New Element, select Text. It's going to be a 3D setup because we're going to animate the text. Uh, it's going to rotate in three dimensions. Right here where it says Text, I'm just going to uh, select this question mark. Alternatively, you can use the exclamation point, and that's always fun. Uh, the quest giver will have a question mark above their head. Once you complete the quest, it'll change to a exclamation point. I'm gonna give it a color, uh, yellow. Yellow seems like a good color for it, so. And blue seems like a good color for the exclamation point. Um, we're gonna create a new keyframe on frame number zero. So select new. Let me zoom in here. So you can see what I'm doing. And select source. And what that does is it spawns a theoretical NPC. You can see where the question mark is in relation to the NPC. Um, what we want to do is we want to move the question mark above the NPC's head. So hover your cursor over the move button, uh, select X on your controller and L1, I think. I think it's L1. And that moves it up. I know the question mark is backwards, but that's okay. We're going to rotate it. Go to frame number 20. Create a new keyframe. I'm going to go to the top view. Right here where it says area, I'm going to change it to top. And zoom in. Right now, you can't see the question mark, but I guarantee you it's there. It's just flat, so it looks like it's not there. But I'm going to rotate it clockwise. You can go either clockwise or counterclockwise. It doesn't really matter. And I'm trying to... I'm going to try to get as close... Like, uh, you see the grid? I'm trying to line it up. I'm trying to line it up with the grid as close as possible. It doesn't have to be perfect, though. It's not perfect, but whatever. That's okay. <clears throat> I'm going to go back to frame number zero and copy that and paste it on frame number 40. And right here where, where it says uh, 299, I'm just going to move it down to 40 because 40 is the maximum. And let's go to the view. Zoom out so you can see what it looks like, and press play. And it should look something like that. Pretty neat. We're done with this visual effect, so let's get out of here. And let's go to scripts. We're going to create an action script. And the name of this uh, script will just be uh, action. Change type to action. And the first line is going to be events, effects, motion change, weight, and the speed. I'm just going to change it to 50. And then the next line is going to be screen display effects event because it, the visual effect is going to apply to the event. And select the visual effect that you created, which is the hovering question mark. The repeat is going to be set at zero because it's going to repeat infinitely or indefinitely. It's just going to repeat forever and never stop. We're done with the script. So let's get out of here. <clears throat> 
Now we're gonna have to create an NPC, and in order to, to do that, we need to go to scripts, events, and then create a name. I'll just call him quest giver. And I'll choose a model. It can be any model that you want, doesn't really matter. A knight facing whichever direction. And then motion. The motion is going to be the script that you just created, the action script. So go ahead and find that. Here's the one that I created. And that's about it. We're done. So all we need to do is place the event. Uh, I'm gonna go to preset town and place them in the in the town. We're pretty much done with this. After I place the event, uh, it's a little bit choppy there. Now I'm gonna have to test the game to see how well it works. Uh, it's gonna be a bit choppy. Sorry about that. I I don't know if there's anything I can do about that. I'm running this game on an emulator, so. That works really well, look at that. That's awesome. Uh, so, I hope you enjoyed, uh, you've enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, thank you for subscribing and thank you for watching. Uh, thank you sub new subscribers. I opened up my YouTube and I found a whole mess of new subscribers, so thank you for that. And thanks again, bye.